Hello my friends and welcome. What you see on the screen is the result of the Russian attack attempt in Kupensk direction. They concentrated some of the forces there and again went to their useless waste of their armored vehicles, infantry, whatever. So far I haven't seen the Russian assault attempt which was more or less successful. All of them went at the same scenario with a turret separation as you can see over here. What a useless waste of the forces. Ukraine uses the equipment to detect the Russian assaults, also drones, so we know every move of the Russian army. The only successful, I would say, attempt to get ground under control was in Avdivka, where Russians changed the tactics and advanced mostly with infantry forces. No vehicles are used. But they are just unable to advance with infantry only for a very long time. At some point they need vehicles for their backup. The Russian generals are like that crazy player in old school strategic games who made just infantry and send them all together to get the positions at the same time with heavy losses and yes it cannot continue for a very long time like that if ukraine starts the similar advancement on the russian positions the result will be the same in this war it's impossible to hide the movement of the forces but you know russia still has the resource they still have many of the tanks they continue the production of those tanks and they do not hesitate by taking meters of the ground basically for the huge cost of the human lives and military. This strategy would have never been working for Ukraine. Those events were happening near to Kupensk, so somewhere over here. My friends, before we continue, let me tell you about the partner and the sponsor of my YouTube channel. It is the Atlas VPN. They came out with a Black Friday deal that was made especially for my followers, where you may get the Atlas VPN Premium just for one for 49 per month plus 12 months extra. It is basically the best offer on the market right now from all of the premium VPN services. It has military encryption standards strongly securing your data and your devices from being reached by government, unwanted ads and also hackers. I use the VPN all of the time and for me personally Atlas VPN is the best VPN out there. It has a security breach device monitoring feature so it alerts me that someone tries to reach my device then I use the public Wi-Fi. Then I see that message, I disconnect from that public Wi-Fi. Atlas VPN is very fast. It guarantees you the best streaming connection, then you watch movies on Netflix. And also by changing your virtual location, you may get access to watch all of the movies, all of the series on Netflix platform. It helped me a lot. So now my friends, please check out my personal link in a video description just below or scan the QR code available on the screen where you may get the Atlas VPN Premium for the record low price just 149 per month because of the black friday deal plus you'll have 12 months extra the deal is time limited so hurry up to join the club okay so what's the situation now on the south in Kherson region ukrainian army continued the advancement and this time towards sahi the institute for the study of war confirmed the information of advancement of ukrainian army they say that in this particular area ukraine was able to send around 300 soldiers quite a lot actually a battalion to fight against russians what is more interesting that russia is unable to use their tanks well they send them but they may use those just on the roads ukraine uses the artillery systems on the other shore to target the russian positions on this shore so we have the backup of our army that's awesome plus ukraine already sent the light armor recall somewhere near to krinky it is now able to support our infantry but i guess not for a long time because we need the constant supplies like spare parts and fuel for the armored vehicles it could be only organized by building the Panton Bridge across the Dnieper. So why Russia and Ukraine are unable to use the infantry vehicles or tanks massively in this area? Because there are lots of the swamps and the ground is very soft here. I was in this area just once in my life and definitely it is the off-road situation for the most part of it. Plus the shore and the swamps. 
Here I went to Kimberski Kersa and also many of the swamps as you may see. So not easy to control actually for the Russian Federation. I think that in the nearby future Ukraine might try to cut this area to get it under control maybe somewhere over here or in the best scenario to go to Skadovsk from this place that would be awesome with this vector we may cut this area and preparing the huge bridgehead for the future attack on crimean peninsula why is it possible because the russian defense is not as robust there as in zaporizhia so you can take the territories under control with much less forces compared to the other southern part of ukraine so this is the impossible situation for now for ukraine to advance towards crimea from this part here it's quite realistic but the Dnepr river still stops ukrainian forces from advancement and it's very risky to put the pattern bridges just right now we need to expand the bridge heads all across the Dnepr and I think it might be successful. We're gonna see it in the nearby future. Today President Zelensky already announced the huge advancement of Ukrainian army till the new year. He promised the success on the front lines. Because of that I see just two of the scenarios. The continuation of advancement in Kherson Oblast or the big landing operation in Crimea. Those are the two things that might be successful for Ukrainian army. At the same time Russia continued to build new defense lines near to Tokmak. So again they have the time the whole winter till the spring and summer campaign to get more defended. So really we might say that the counteroffensive of Ukrainian army, the counteroffensive attempt wasn't really that successful as it was promised by Ukrainian leaders and Ukrainian military command, also the Western command. I think we underestimated our enemy and really Russians digged down into the ground. I also did mistake analyzing the situation. I thought that it could be the same as in Kherson Oblast last year, but this year is total difference. Russians were not massively running out from their positions. Moreover, they sent reinforcements to the place and now it's the most defended area on the front lines, Zaporizhia Oblast. And probably the next year would be very similar with the Russian defense unless Ukraine would have lots of the weaponry, tons of the weaponry from allies. Okay, this was filmed on Ukrainian drone. You can see Russian infantry, lots of them staying near to the track. We haven't received the full video now, but it was promised, so you may guess what happened to them. What I want to show you is the Ukrainian FPV drone operation on the Russian air defense system tour. This is the very expensive thing. Before Russia haven't used those tours as massively as they use them right now on the front lines because they're in lack of the big long range air defense systems like S300 and S400. Well, they still have those, but somewhere in Russia they do not place them near to the front lines. That is why they have to use the shorter range air defense like tour and this is a very effective system but they're very close to the front lines that is why ukraine may use fpv drones to target those systems russia has deployed their electronic warfare systems very close to the front lines the base is their tiger suv and on the top there are a number of antennas which create the special distortions against the drone attacks and other stuff this vehicle is kind of expensive but at the same time it was followed by the ukrainian drone so probably it wasn't working by that particular time and later on it was targeted by the Hymas system our guys just waited for the moment then the vehicle stopped and then launched the Hymas missile to hit the target and there is not much left from that car let's go to Avdiivka direction unfortunately according to the deep state military map analysis Russia had moved across the railroad in this area, which is not really good. Well, actually, we had the confirmation about their movement across the railroad around four days ago, but it was occasionally at some turning point. But now they moved massively with more infantry forces. So for those attacks, they do not use infantry vehicles or tanks. They afraid to lose. So they continue to advance just 
by using infantry forces at the same time having the tremendous losses from the ukrainian artillery nevertheless they push and push just for you to understand where is it happening so here is avdivka here is the russian advancement we may even check the timeline so it was yesterday it is today so here we may see the huge advancement of the russian army they took i think three of the fields with some of the trenches here they moved across the road creating the hazard for ukrainian army in this industrial part of avdivka so the main goal for the russians is to advance towards this place and to cut the only supply road the only good supply road for avdivka town the situation is not that bright for ukrainian army but still it's not the catastrophic one but ukraine continued to cut the russian positions near to avdivka for example this is the hill that they were able to take under control they put their infantry over there just a few of the soldiers so ukraine found those and attack using the fpv drones i'm unable to show you the full video on this platform so for that please check out my telegram channel today russia attacked the commercial vessel in odessa port this vessel is under liberian flag unfortunately one of the crew members lost his life three more were wounded and delivered to the local hospital as you may see the main control room was targeted that is why some of the people were wounded or even lost their lives and this is the room behind the control room so probably crew members were there at that particular point so the vessel will stay for repairs for quite a long time i think that it is the first direct attack of the russian army on commercial international vessels in ukrainian ports they want to cut the grain supplies from ukraine some of the interesting things are happening to the officials of the lpr the luhansk people's republic so this guy was the ex-commander of the local militia somehow he lost his life today he continued to be one of the main officials of luhansk republic so let me show you his car so here we go i think it is the ford expedition and yes it might happen some accident the rapid explosion of the driver's seat but still this car is quite restorable i might say the guy inside was the war criminal who tortured ukrainian soldiers himself russia is in lack of the helicopter engines because most of them are produced in motor siege ukraine so now russia asks many of the countries like egypt brazil pakistan and belarus to send them their equipment which russia transferred to them before including the helicopter engines again one more sign that putin was not planning for this long-term war with the current resources russia has so that's what zelensky says ukraine can still deliver battlefield results this year i already told you a couple of the scenarios but ukraine in general performs quite well in defense for example in Avdivka or near to Kupensk yes Russia is still able to move a little but for what cost because them severe losses that's the main aim for Ukrainian army to do so and after a while during the spring campaign Ukraine may advance from their positions trying to get more territories from our enemy president biden also believes that ukraine may return all of its territories we have this report from john kirby at the same time ukraine will continue to receive the military help from the united states well hopefully because for the next year it hasn't been yet approved today the european commission gave the green light for ukraine and moldova to start negotiations in the future eu membership so mainly we are still in the beginning of this process that might take years it was just one more step today reaching that goal still ukraine need to provide lots of the reforms to join european union my friends don't forget to press the like to this video and also please check out my personal link in the video description just below where you may get the atlas vpn premium with a huge black friday discount especially made for my followers my friends i wish you all a peaceful sky wherever you are and have a great time